there is one main question that a lot of fans do have as we do head into Jurassic World Dominion, and this is whether or not the Giganotosaurus will die off during this movie. And the main reason for this question is because in the Jurassic World trilogy so far, every single new dinosaur antagonist has been killed off eventually. When we think back to Jurassic World, we had the Indominus Rex. It was very formidable and very durable, but after the terrifying rain it had, it eventually was defeated by the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptor, and Mosasaurus. Then in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we had the Indoraptor. It fell on the skull of the Triceratops, and it did die off immediately. And this right here is something we didn't really see too often in the Jurassic Park films. Outside of the 1993 Velociraptor pack, the antagonist dinosaur usually does survive. So to some extent, it is new in the Jurassic World trilogy. Now I do believe when it comes to the Giganotosaurus, it all depends on how aggressive this dinosaur really is. In this franchise so far, we have seen several kinds of antagonistic dinosaurs. When it comes to the Tyrannosaurus Rex in Jurassic Park and the Lost World, they are very aggressive, but they are not that persistent. When they are attacking, they are very dangerous, but the attacks usually have purpose. Then on the other hand, you have dinosaurs like the Spinosaurus, the Indoraptor, and the Indominus Rex. These are more so killing machines. They are very persistent, and they will not stop until they kill the humans off, or they die off themselves. And when you do compare them to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, their persistence and aggression doesn't have as much of a reason. And the thing is, with the Giganotosaurus in this film, the setting and the plot is far different. I think automatically in this movie, it does have a much lower chance of dying off compared to other antagonistic dinosaurs. That is because, in my opinion, there is a lot more to focus on for the human beings. With all of this cloning technology being worldwide, I think a lot of their focus and intention will be on that. That in many ways is more dangerous than a Tyrannosaurus Rex and Giganotosaurus. If they were to focus on the living dinosaurs, it would of course stop the short-term problem, but while they're trying to stop the current dinosaurs, new ones are being made all across the world. And when it comes to the aggression of this dinosaur, I believe it more so falls into that T-Rex category. It most likely will not be a killing machine. It will show aggression and attack when it has a purpose, but outside of that, I don't see it falling into the same category as the Indominus Rex, Spinosaurus, or Indoraptor. And and when you think about these other dinosaur antagonists, they always have a good amount of dinosaurs to fight. You can imagine the Spinosaurus on side B came across the Ceratosaurus, the Velociraptors, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex multiple times, and of course we saw the Indominus Rex fight the Ankylosaurus, the Apatosaurus, the Velociraptors, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it was willing to fight the Raptors and T-Rex at the same time. Jurassic World Dominion is set on mainland, and there is so much space for these dinosaurs to roam, so it's not the same as side B or side A. They will not come across each other as often. So I do believe the only dinosaur it will fight is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I do believe most fans would pick the T-Rex to win, and I would agree. However, I do believe they will make it very unique. It will not be like the Spinosaurus defeating the T-Rex in Jurassic Park 3, or even the battle on Main Street in Jurassic World. Instead, because there was now the idea of coexisting and dinosaurs roaming the world, both of these dinosaurs in Jurassic World Dominion may survive. The Tyrannosaurus Rex may win a territorial battle, but it doesn't mean that one has to get killed off. It really just all depends on how Jurassic World Dominion will end. If they are able to stop new genetic power, and the current dinosaurs are dying, then it's unlikely that the Giganotosaurus would survive. However, if this does become a quote-unquote Jurassic World, then it is quite likely that carnivores will survive as well. And it is possible that like Jurassic Park, the dinosaur antagonist could turn into a hero. If the Giganotosaurus was made by Biosyn, then it could be very similar to Godzilla vs. Kong. We saw Mechagodzilla turn against Apex, and this may very well happen in Jurassic World Dominion. It would turn on Biosyn, and it would be quite symbolic for the dinosaurs. They are standing up against those who have controlled them for quite some time. For all of you though in Jurassic World Dominion, will the Giganotosaurus die off? If it does, how? And if it doesn't, will it turn into a more heroic figure at the very end? Write all of your opinions on this topic down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.